Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. So I know what you're thinking right about now. Richard, this is an e-bike channel. What are you doing riding a scooter? <laughs> well, I'm not really sure. What am I doing riding a scooter? Uh, you know, as a kid, I never had a scooter. I don't know, just seemed too dangerous, I guess. My parents wouldn't let me have one. I had a bicycle. I had a big wheel. Remember the big wheels? That was pretty safe. You know, you sit low to the ground. Kind of hard to fall off that. I had a skateboard, too. So I was into skateboarding for a short time, a couple of years. Really enjoyed that. Just never owned a scooter. So, when Yadia or Yadea, I think it's pronounced Yadia, reached out to me recently and said, hey, would you like to check out one of our electric scooters? I said, of course. Um, why not, All right? It's electric, it's a mode of transportation, and uh, so why, why not check it out? And so here we are. This is the Yadia KS6 Pro. And uh, I can tell you I've been having a lot of fun on it. I've been having a lot of fun on this thing because it's lightweight. It's zippy. It's powerful. I haven't fallen off yet. I like it a lot because I haven't fallen off yet. You know, one of the things I have to, to remind myself is that when I get ready to slow down, that I have to, I have to step down off this thing because... You know, you're sitting here, you're just kind of standing along, you're not pedaling or anything, and you decide that you're gonna to come to a stop, and you, know, you gotta to remember to, to hop down, otherwise you fall over. But I really like this scooter, this is pretty cool. Never having uh, owned one. This is only my, I think, third time out riding it. I've been trying to get familiar with it before I did this review video, but, um, yeah it's it's a lot of fun so what what can a scooter do for you is it's lightweight i say lightweight i mean this thing's still what is the weight in this 50 pounds i don't remember about 50 pounds or something so it's not like super lightweight but it's small compact it folds up nicely uh so it's easy to kind of toss it into the trunk or your back seat of your vehicle and take it with you and it allows you to get out allows you to get out, enjoy the parks, uh, get into town, go maybe do a little shopping or something. Although you don't have storage on this like you do a, a bike. But if you bring a backpack or something, you can shove stuff into a backpack and make it work. Let's go this way. So, yeah, let's just stop here for a second and I'll let you take a look at it. All right. Here we go, the Yadia KS6 Pro. Um, here's what I can tell you about it. It's got a 500 watt motor that peaks at 800 watts. Now that's just as good or even maybe a little better than some e-bikes that are out on the market. It has, it has 10 inch wheels, tubeless tires, self-healing, so you're never gonna have to worry about you know, getting a flat or something. Uh, that's just not gonna be a problem for you. Um, it has a 242 pound weight capacity on it, but I can tell you this, I exceed that by three pounds, okay, I'm right at 245, and I can ride this scooter and still reach the top speed, I've got all the power that I need, and uh, it's very stable, so even if you're a heavy rider and you're going to you know, reach that maximum weight limit, uh, it, it performs very well, okay, you're not going to have any degradation in, in performance. Uh, let's see what do we have here we have we do have a drum motor or excuse me a, a drum brake on the front whereas you have a disc brake on the rear okay uh, they they perform well you don't want your wheels to lock up or you don't want to be able to uh, when you hit the brakes you don't want to come to a quick stop because your body weight's going to keep going and you're going to really be unstable so uh, I haven't found that to be a problem at all the, the brakes handle nicely I can brake rather quickly without being uh, throwing myself off balance, so that's great. Look, 
it's still powered on so you can see that it has a little tail light in the back and that does light up when you hit the brakes okay and these fenders here these fenders are made of metal so they're not plastic I have heard that some of them uh, some scooters out there have little plastic fenders and they're rather cheaply made guys this isn't a cheap this isn't a cheaply made scooter it's well designed well built scooter we do have uh, shocks on the front okay so small uh, spring-loaded shocks there that really helps with the bumps so uh, that's a nice feature as well we have a reflector down there uh, which helps uh, you know uh, visibility at night but then up here you have a headlight that's built into the stem here so let's see if I can remember how to turn this on there we go so there's a headlight and I haven't tested it at night so I don't know how powerful that is but hey it's got a headlight uh, let's see here so we do have a bell right there and then of course the two brakes uh, one on each side right there this is a it folds rather easily and, and nicely let's see if I can do that over here so over here on this side you do have uh, this lock right here that you simply pinch and then you pull it down and then the whole stem did I go far enough? Oh, there we go. And then the whole stem just folds down like this. Now, if you notice up here on the front, you got this little latch right here. This little latch allows you to get catch on the hook right there. So it catches on that hook right there, and then it allows you to pick up the scooter if you need to. So you can pick it up, move about with it, you know, take off with it if you need to. So that's kind of cool. And then to set it back up again you just pull that little latch so it unhooks raise it up and there you go while we're down here take a look at this right here it's even got a cutesy little kickstand built in so it sits upright i didn't mention we do have little reflectors on the sides little orange amber uh, reflectors so that's kind of cool right there and then you have the uh, the outlet port right here to be able to charge it up so when I first got this got out of the box it was already assembled didn't have to worry about any assembly at all just folded up the stem and locked it into place but we did have to charge it up so be prepared that it took about seven hours to give this thing a good full charge the first time so be ready for that the uh, the platform down here is nice and wide what is that a good six inches wide or so and uh, I didn't measure it. I don't know. What is that? 20, uh, 24 inches long or something. So it's a nice, stable platform. Whoa! To be able to put both feet. Hey, I've got size 13 feet down there, guys. And uh, there's plenty of room on there for me. Given a, a view from the, uh, the cockpit up here, we do have the thumb throttle right here. Thumb throttle doesn't work until you give it a kickstart. So you gotta, it's called a kick scooter, right? So you gotta give it a little kick start. You gotta get this thing moving just a little bit before the throttle will engage. Kind of like a safety feature, which is nice. Here's the, uh, the hook latch I was just showing you. We have a power button here. And you long press to turn it off. You long press to turn it back on. You can do short press and it bounces between three different modes. There's a walk mode, which is like super slow. And then you have this mode, which I don't remember what it was called, but it's a middle mode, which goes a little bit faster. And then you have sport mode, which is like super fast. That's where I like to hang out. With this, uh, this scooter right here, you can go 19 miles per hour. So nice, uh, nice speed for a scooter. I don't think I'd really want to go any faster than that on a scooter, honestly. Um, you know, it's fun to ride. But uh, anything higher than that, I just I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. Some of you might. So, and we do have the, the miles per hour there. Now, guys, another cool thing about this is that it comes with an app, okay? So, we're just going to get the app loaded here for a moment. There it is. And so, it says it's connecting right up here. So, now it's connected. Just beeped. So, we're all connected here. It's showing us that our battery is 94%. Uh, we have a lock-on-lock lock button here, so we can lock this thing out, which is nice. We have cruise control. So you can set the cruise control. I haven't really played around with that much yet. Maybe we'll do that during this video. 
uh, gear switch. This is basically just swapping between the three modes I was just telling you about. You can turn on the headlamp from the app if you need to. They have a profile button down here where you can click on the profile button. And it's basically, you can just rename the device. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. You can contact the company, uh, set your language, and the units for your miles per hour, kilometers, that sort of thing. A little about the company, or you can log out. So pretty basic there. So not a lot you would have to do in the app, you know. Uh, certainly you don't want to try using the app while riding down the road, so that's why they built in the same features right up here with the press of the button uh, to be able to change your mode, um, you know, turn on your light, that sort of thing. Here we go. Oh, we had it in walk mode. Well, let's let's demonstrate that. Whoops, didn't kick it off enough. So there we go. There's walk mode. What are we doing? We're doing about four miles per hour. So nice and slow, super slow. That might be great if you're learning how to ride the scooter or something. And we're going to get up into that that medium mode there so we got a nice little kick there get going a uh, nice little jump start and it looks like we're going to top out at what is that nine miles per hour and then let's go ahead and see what happens when we kick it up in the sport mode one little kick hit the throttle here we go and this is where we're going to jump up to about 19 miles per hour 16, we're running out of sidewalk, 17. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop. Beep. Ran out of sidewalk. Let's go back. We'll hit 19 right here. 15, 17, 18, and there's 19. All right, so one of the cool things about this scooter, it is super quiet you really don't hear the motor at all so that is just one thing i really like about it and that's that's important if you know if you're in town or you're among people or something you don't want to be making a lot of noise drawing attention to yourself just get away from that traffic so you might want to uh you know just be able to cruise along peacefully and quietly Ooh, that's a lot of traffic noise out there get away from that so just a lot of neat things about this scooter that is you know, pretty cool. So here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to show you some additional video clips as we're scooting along. I'm going to adjust this camera back up. Because a couple of nights ago, Emma and Devin were over and uh, I let them ride it. So I'm going to show you a few clips from uh, them riding this scooter. And then uh, you get to hear a little bit of what they had to say about it. And then I'll come back and finish up and give you my final thoughts. So here we go. Tell me, Devin, what do you think? Um, super quiet. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah. Handles really well. Yep. Um, very stable. Yeah? You think so? It's got a good, good stable platform right there. You, you yeah. Know, Plenty of room to like stand with like both feet like, next to each other. Yeah. Or whatever's comfortable. Yeah. So. Nice. Outstanding. Oh, yeah.
Okay, Emma, thoughts? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Why? Um, it could be because I haven't rode a scooter in years, but it's very, to me, you said balanced and stable. I don't feel like it's stable. I'm doing this like the whole time because I'm used to having like a seat which gives you more balance. Yeah. So it's, it's a like little different feet. riding experience yeah. when you're standing. And then when you hit the throttle, like earlier, like you said, I had enough like go power and it wasn't going until it finally kicked in. And when it kicked in, I like did this and it's very terrifying when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hear you. So it may not be for everyone. So it is in sport mode, which is the, the more, the, the highest mode. Okay. And so it's that got a little sense. more power, a little more speed, a little more kick to it maybe than one of the, uh, the, the, I'm not sure what the mode is. The medium one but the okay. lowest one is walk mode which is super slow okay. so that could be part of it but all right I mean, I could get the hang of it, but... with practice all right well i appreciate your feedback Hello. Okay guys, here's my final thoughts on the Yadia KS6 Pro. Um, it's not for kids, right? I mean, it's, a, it's an e-scooter. It's an adult size scooter. So leave the kids at the playground while you go out and cruise the streets on this guy right here. It's a fun scooter. I've enjoyed it. I appreciate Yadia sending this to me so I could check it out uh, because this is my very first scooter ever in my lifetime. And I appreciate them uh, trusting me and, and uh, letting me have this right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, there's going to be links down in the description below so you can go and check this thing out for yourself. Hey, it's $250 off right now. So they got a great price on it well worth the money uh, just well worth the money it's good construction built well and performs very very well so go and check it out give me a thumbs up ask any questions down below and i will see you in the next video <laughs> doing so <laughs> you know i'm out here dying of a heat stress. strap her on right yeah, here or something there you yeah, go you know just let awesome. her run that's it awesome you want to try it I'll let you borrow my helmet even if you I don't know, feel more I'm safe. Scared. I was too. I've never owned a scooter before. Even as a kid, I didn't have one. Never. I, I am so uncoordinated, Richard. I can't even ride a bike. Okay, first of all, health insurance, medical bills are your responsibility. <laughs> okay. You, you do have to do give I it. Do I put this up front or I put it in the back? Whatever you think is comfortable. Okay. You do have to give it like one little kick before you hit the throttle. The throttle right here. Because the throttle doesn't work until you're moving. All right. Okay. And the brakes. Don't grab those brakes and slam on them hard because you'll go flying. You just ease into the brakes a little bit. You know, you do it first. I'll die. You do it. One little kick. That's all it takes. That's a good speed to, for people to kind of learn and get their balance, and then you can That's kick awesome. it up to a higher Spin speed. Around. Come on back. Come on back, and we'll uh, put it in a higher gear for you now. Key. So hit the button twice. Let's see, twice. No, that turned on the light. Hold on. One button, one press. That's the medium mode, so that only goes like nine miles per hour. Oh, nine. There you go. Action. You want to bust it up now to the higher speed? That's fine. Now zip on down the road. Oh my god, please be careful. Yeah, he's fine. He's doing great.
We might as well walk while he's uh, yeah. doing his thing. Come on, you. Don't pull me. Oh, what? She's got this all done. You want to give it a whirl? All right. I'll so, do you want the, the four right. mile an hour or the nine? The four. Okay, there's the four. It's actually easier. It's actually easier on nine because four is just right, a little nine. too slow and it, you, it's hard to keep your balance. I'll go nine. And you don't have to go all the way, you just press the throttle part way. Babe, I'm scared. Give Which it a little more push. Are you going to put forward? I don't know. Are you going to put your left or your right forward? Because that one you need to put up front and then push with the one that you're going to put in the back. There you go. Give it a lot of throttle, get going. There you go. <laughs> she skins a knee, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's on you. 